Welcome back, everyone. Today, we have a critical topic to discuss the Marburg virus disease. In this video, we'll delve into what Marburg virus disease is, its symptoms, transmission, prevention, and current status. So, let's get started. What is Marburg virus disease, MVD? Marburg virus disease, MVD, is a severe and often fatal illness caused by the Marburg virus, a member of the Filoviridae family, similar to the Ebola virus. It was first identified during an outbreak in Marburg, Germany, in 1967, and subsequent outbreaks have occurred in African countries. The disease is primarily transmitted to humans through contact with infected animals, such as bats and non-human primates, and can then spread through direct contact with the blood, secretions, organs, or other bodily fluids of infected individuals. History of MVD The history of Marburg virus disease, MVD, dates back to 1967 when the first known outbreak occurred in the city of Marburg, Germany. Here's a brief timeline of the key events in the history of MVD. 1967 outbreak in Marburg, Germany. The virus was first identified during an outbreak among laboratory workers who were handling African green monkeys imported from Uganda. The causative agent was later named the Marburg virus. 1975 outbreak in South Africa. Another outbreak of MVD occurred in Johannesburg, South Africa, affecting workers at a vaccine manufacturing facility. This outbreak was linked to the handling of tissues from infected African green monkeys. 1980s outbreaks in Kenya and Zimbabwe. Several cases of MVD were reported in Kenya and Zimbabwe during this decade, with the primary mode of transmission suspected to be from contact with bats or bat droppings. 1998-2000 outbreaks in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. The DRC experienced multiple outbreaks of MVD during this period, resulting in a significant number of deaths. Investigations revealed that the primary reservoir of the Marburg virus was likely bats, which transmitted the disease to humans through direct contact or exposure to their excreta. 2004-2005 outbreaks in Angola. Angola faced one of the largest outbreaks of MVD in history, with over 250 cases and a high fatality rate. This outbreak raised concerns about the potential for the virus to cause large-scale epidemics. 2012 outbreak in Uganda. Uganda experienced a sporadic outbreak of MVD in 2012, leading to several deaths. Health authorities responded promptly to control the spread of the disease. About Marburg virus. The Marburg virus is a member of the Filoviridae family, and like other viruses in this family, it has a unique and distinctive structure. Here's a brief overview of the structure of the Marburg virus. It is an elongated, filamentous, and pleomorphic, variable in shape, virus particle. The virion is approximately 800 nanometers in length and 80 nanometers in diameter. Envelope. The virion is enveloped by a lipid membrane, which is derived from the host cell during the process of budding. Genome. The Marburg virus has a single-stranded, negative sense RNA genome. The RNA genome is approximately 19,000 to 19,400 nucleotides long and encodes for seven structural proteins. Structural proteins. The genome of the Marburg virus codes for several structural proteins that are necessary for the virus's replication and assembly which include nucleoprotein, viral protein 35, VP35, VP40, glycoprotein, VP30, VP24 and RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, L. How MVD transmits. Marburg virus disease, MVD, is transmitted to humans through contact with infected animals, primarily bats and non-human primates. Transmission for MVD include. Animal to human transmission. The Marburg virus is considered a zoonotic virus. The natural reservoir of the virus is suspected to be bats, and human infections can occur through direct contact with infected bats or their excreta, e.g., saliva, urine, feces. Human-to-human -human transmission. Once a person becomes infected with the Marburg virus, they can transmit it to others through direct contact with their blood or other body fluids. Nosocomial transmission. Healthcare settings can be hotspots for MVD transmission. Healthcare workers who are in close contact with infected patients, as well as other patients sharing the same facilities, are at risk of acquiring the virus. It's important to note that MVD is not transmitted through casual contact, respiratory droplets, like the flu or common cold, or by touching surfaces contaminated with the virus. The virus requires direct contact with infected bodily fluids to spread from person to person. Pathogenicity and Symptoms of MVD The pathogenicity of Marburg virus disease, MVD, 
is characterized by its ability to cause severe and often fatal infections in humans. Here's an overview of the key aspects of the pathogenicity and symptoms of MVD. Incubation period. After exposure to the Marburg virus, there is an incubation period from 2 to 21 days, during which the infected individual may not exhibit any symptoms. Initial symptoms. The initial symptoms of MVD are nonspecific and flu-like, making it challenging to diagnose in the early stages. Common symptoms include sudden onset of high fever, severe headache, muscle aches, weakness, fatigue, and general malaise. Hemorrhagic fever. MVD is often classified as a viral hemorrhagic fever due to its ability to cause bleeding and clotting abnormalities. As the disease progresses, patients may experience bleeding from various sites, both internal, e.g., gastrointestinal tract, lungs, and external, e.g., gums, nose. Organ involvement. The Marburg virus targets multiple organs, including the liver, spleen, and lymph nodes. Infected cells release pro-inflammatory cytokines, causing damage to blood vessel walls, increasing vascular permeability, and leading to fluid loss and bleeding. Immunosuppression. The Marburg virus has mechanisms to evade the host's immune system, which may lead to immunosuppression and rapid spread of infection throughout the body. Severe disease progression. As MVD progresses, patients may develop more severe symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and respiratory distress. Severe cases can lead to shock, organ failure, and death. High fatality rate. Historically, MVD outbreaks have been associated with high fatality rates, varying from 24% to over 80%, depending on the outbreak and the specific strain of the virus. Nosocomial transmission. Healthcare facilities can become centers of MVD transmission if proper infection control measures are not followed. Healthcare workers and other patients can be at risk if they come into contact with infected bodily fluids. How to diagnose MVD? Diagnosing Marburg virus disease, MVD, requires a combination of clinical evaluation, laboratory tests, and epidemiological information. Here are the steps involved in diagnosing MVD. Clinical evaluation. The first step is a thorough clinical evaluation by a healthcare professional. They will review the patient's medical history, including recent travel to areas with known outbreaks or contact with potential sources of infection and will check the symptoms. Polymerase chain reaction test. PCR is used to detect the genetic material, RNA, of the virus in patient samples. It allows for early diagnosis and confirmation of the infection. ELISA. ELISA tests detect antibodies produced by the body's immune system in response to the Marburg virus. Viral isolation. Attempts may be made to isolate the Marburg virus from patient samples in specialized laboratories. This is usually done in high containment facilities due to the virus's high level of infectivity. Epidemiological information. The patient's travel history and exposure to potential sources of the virus are crucial in assessing the likelihood of MVD and guiding the diagnostic process. Isolation and infection control. Suspected cases of MVD should be immediately isolated to prevent further transmission. Stringent infection control measures should be followed by healthcare professionals to minimize the risk of exposure. As MVD is a high-consequence infectious disease, suspected cases should be reported to public health authorities to initiate outbreak control measures and prevent further spread. What is treatment for MVD? There is no specific antiviral treatment for Marburg virus disease, MVD. Therefore, the management of MVD is primarily supportive care, aimed at alleviating symptoms, preventing complications, and providing the best possible chance of recovery. Adequate fluid and electrolyte should be given to patient to prevent dehydration and pain medications if necessary. Specific complications of MVD, such as bleeding disorders, respiratory distress, and impaired organ function, need to be addressed promptly and appropriately. Supportive care should be provided to manage specific symptoms and organ dysfunction which may include oxygen therapy, blood transfusions, and medications. How to prevent MVD? As there is currently no specific antiviral treatment or licensed vaccine available for MVD, prevention is crucial in controlling the spread of the disease. Here are some key preventive measures. Avoid contact with infected animals. MVD is believed to be transmitted to humans from infected animals, primarily bats and non-human primates. To prevent exposure, avoid direct contact with bats and their excreta, as well as wild animals that may be potential carriers of the virus. Practice good hygiene. 
Regularly wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after being in public places, before eating, and after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose. Use personal protective equipment PPE. If you are in close contact with someone suspected or confirmed to have MBD, use appropriate personal protective equipment, such as gloves, masks, gowns, and eye protection, to reduce the risk of transmission. Follow infection control measures. Healthcare facilities should implement strict infection control measures to prevent nosocomial transmission. Isolate suspected or confirmed cases and use infection prevention protocols when caring for patients. Quarantine and monitor contacts. Identify and monitor individuals who have had close contact with confirmed MVD cases and implement quarantine measures to prevent further spread of the virus. Educate the public. Raise awareness about MVD, its symptoms, and preventive measures through public health campaigns, community education, and media channels. Travel precautions. If you are traveling to regions with known MVD outbreaks, be aware of the risks and take necessary precautions. Avoid contact with wildlife and practice good hygiene during your travels. Control animal movement. Limit the movement of potentially infected animals and implement appropriate measures in wildlife trade and animal markets. Conclusion. That's all for today's video on Marburg virus disease. Remember, staying informed and following preventive measures are essential in curbing the spread of such deadly diseases. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on health, science, and other fascinating topics. Stay safe and take care. Thank you for watching.